Trouble with the snap. And falling on it back near the 20 is Lampson. They put Justin Lampson back in the game, and he had trouble with the snap. As they like to go sideline to sideline, they like to use the entire width of the field. Why? It wears down opposing defenses, and more importantly, it gives you a lot more green to play with to allow your playmakers to make people miss in the open space and to generate yards after the catch or the run. Play action for Lampson. He goes down and sacked back inside Stanford territory. Kyrie Jackson, the corner on the blitz with the set. Another solid drive from the Stanford Cardinal. Play action for Lampson. He's under pressure. Ball strip on the blind side. Stanford gets it back. And trying to run with it is Fisher Anderson, the left tackle. And that's a loss as Mace Funa coming off the edge with the strip sack. And Oregon is ranked. We talked about it. It's, it's going to take, you know, near perfect play. You Jordan might not have Burks the with the play there for State, or Oregon's defense. You might not have all the Urban. studs that Oregon has and, and, or be able to. An Oregon offense that averages 54 points per game. Bucky Irving drags it out to the 29. Guy Finn Bernadelle, the tackle for Stanford and Oregon. With that tempo and that speed, they'll be right on the ball. Duck show blitz, here they come. Daniels buried in the backfield. Evan Williams knifing through for the sack, and Stanford will be forced to kick it away. From the Oregon 31, Nix will throw on first down. And coming back for it, finds the tight end Patrick Herbert. And Justin's little brother out to the 35. Empty backfield for Bo Nix, now motioning. And they fake the give. Nix keeps as Jordan James the misdirection. And Nix runs for the first Oregon first down. And it comes with 9.25 to go in the second quarter and a good kick out block from a Johnny Cornelius. But he's capable of pulling around on the horn. He's capable of pulling through screens and stuff like that. He's athletic enough. He fits right in with this Oregon offense. Coming back for it. And Franklin with his first catch. And here is the first carry for Jordan James trying to skip it to the outside. And James turns the corner. And he's out of bounds at the 31st down Ducks. And right now they're playing the most they've had played so far this game. James who ran for 13, breaks through, and he's gone. Touchdown, Oregon. And just like that, Roxy, they're back into it. One play away. This is how quickly this, score, this, uh, this team can score and how efficient they can be on offense if you let them get going. Even though Stanford dominated the first 20 minutes of this game, Oregon, the number nine Ducks, are now in front of Stanford. in the pitch Casey Filkins hit in the backfield and it goes down Jordan Birch will get credit for the tackle for loss and Oregon's defense steps up again blocked out the outside noise and controlled what they could control and worked out beautifully for Oregon last week as Bucky Irving spun down shy of the 30. You know talking about working out beautifully isn't even really Bo Nix the deep drop Moving around in the pocket and wide open over the middle. Troy Franklin, his second catch, and a first down out to the 45 for the Ducks. Bo Nix does a good job at using his legs to extend the play. Offensive line does a good job of protection. And here you go. Here's Troy Franklin again, another Ducks first down inside Stanford territory. And, and I asked both Dan Lanning and Will Stein about this week for Troy Franklin. First tackle for loss for the Stanford defense. Nix. And the crossing route underneath. Troy Franklin turns it upfield. And he's about a yard shy of the first down. It's a predetermined play where the receivers that are also out. Third and short, Bucky Irving cuts it back, first down and more. Irving dragging tacklers inside the 25. Good kick out block by the left guard, Marcus Harper, the second. Blake looks at Bo Nix. <laughs> Slipping out, this is the freshman trying to hurdle, and Kenyon Sadiq goes for a ride. And, and don't let him have anything. We'll see him get a whole do over now in the second down and five. Bucky Irving skips through the line, bounce it to the outside. Irving to the corner. He's in. Touchdown, Oregon. You see Bucky Britton missing, making people miss, and breaking tackles. There's one, there's two. So does Oregon. And they pitch it to Filkins. And upended, lost yard in the backfield. And then get it. Jamal Hill, the senior from Rex, Georgia. In motion, Treshawn Holden on the rollout. Knicks underneath Bucky Irving the catch. And Irving 
Steers it out of bounds across the 30. Gets out to the 32, a pickup of seven. 34 seconds left in the half. Now motioning is Treshawn Holden. And they swing it to Holden. And turns it upfield. Holden out across the 40. And he's run out of bounds. Stanford thinks the clock should continue running as forward momentum was stopped. But he did get out of bounds. 26 ticks remain in the half at the 40. And they'll run it with Irving. And Irving inside the 30 goes down right near the 25. And Oregon will get that timeout with one second left in the half. So Oregon from the 20. Bo Nix, and he'll hand it off. And gain just shy of the 25 on the first down carry is Alakai Gilman on the tackle of Bucky Irving. Oregon goes empty on second down. Low snap for Bo Nix, and it's complete. And Troy Franklin out across the 35. Fifth catch for Franklin today. Jordan James motions out on third down. And open is Ferguson. Across midfield, still rumbling is Terrence Ferguson. Penalty marker comes in late, and there may be extra yardage for Oregon after Terrence Ferguson the catch and run. Bunch to the right for Nix from the Stanford 36. Play action. And a sliding catch. Did Bryant make it? Waiting for the signal, he did. Gary Bryant Jr. inside the 20. And Oregon quickly moves to the line. Under center is Nix. And the play action for Bo Nix lobs it for the end zone. Terrence Ferguson, touchdown Oregon. Yeah, Scotty Edwards, the safety in coverage on it, absolutely had no chance whatsoever. Had his back towards Bo Nix, and Bo Nix does a good job at throwing it high to where your receiver can catch it. First touchdown catch of the year for Ferguson. You see the replay right there with the safety now turning around, making a play on the ball. His 74th career touchdown pass. He has also run for 32 in his career as Bucky Irving powers to the second level and gets about eight before he runs into Tristan Sinclair. And with an experienced quarterback, he's just going to shred you. Blitz picked up, pump, now a deep shot. Bo Nix finds, cutting it back. Troy Franklin, touchdown Oregon. And this is how they beat you. They beat you by you making mistakes and them, and them able to capitalize. That time you bring a blitz, Bo Nix still has plenty of time to survey the field, come back to Franklin, and gets a touchdown. Look at the lower part of your screen. He's open because they're playing that style of defense. It's almost like a cover two, but the safety has no help. And James has his seam. Jordan James down the sideline. First and goal, Oregon. Nice block on the edge by Franklin. There's no one setting the edge. Look how the left tackle gets his hands on the outside linebacker. 37 yards. First and goal. Knicks, Troy Franklin, touchdown Ducks. Second time those two have hooked up for a score today. Is out to the left, but you only have one defender. This is easy. This is in every all every offense's arsenal. Just find the young to the side of Justin Lampson. And Butler hit before he could get started, and he lost a yard. Those two that went in. Weren't bad. No, not a good one. Bucky Irving, strong run into Stanford territory. Pistol look, Bo Nix, play action. And Gary Bryant Jr. adjusting. And it's first and goal for the Ducks. Nix now at 281. Bo Nix for six. Touchdown, Oregon. Trayshawn Holden. Well, they make it look easy, don't they, Roxy? Too easy at times. Make it look easy. They're so efficient. And able to throw a strike at a slant to hold him. Taking over this program and succeeding, the coach is successful and, and, and charismatic and all the qualities you look for in a coach that David Shaw had. But Troy Taylor, there's a lot of similarities I see mm -hmm. between the two of them. They're both... I think brilliant offensive mind. But this day and age, a lot of things have changed. It's not as high on education as a lot of people would have it. It's about opportunity to get their kids seen, to get a lot of times to get their kids paid. Lampson is sacked on third down. 